Janet Jackson. <laughs> That's what that is. That's gotta be her. I recently visited Retro World Expo in Hartford, Connecticut. I went there with a couple of my friends and we wanted to look at some old video game stuff, but more importantly, to hang out with Noptop. Now, if you're watching my channel, I probably don't need to explain who Noptop is to you, but if you don't know, Noptop is a DIY filmmaking YouTube legend. When I first started making YouTube videos, his channel was one of the ones that I spent a lot of time watching and picking up tips from. It's awesome to be able to say that Dave and I are friends now through YouTube, so I invited him to do a crapshoot with me. And what better camera to use than one of the oddest ones in my collection? The 35mm Budweiser beer can camera. Now I haven't really shot a ton with this one. It's kind of one of those cameras where it is what it is. You can't really change any settings at all other than the flash. And when I say that I mean you can turn the flash on and also off. Here's a quick rundown of how the camera works, because honestly I think this is the coolest part. You open up this part to reveal the lens and you look through the viewfinder here. You have a shutter button right here, and when you take the photo you twist the top of the can to advance the film. When you're done with the roll you pull the tab, and then you twist the top of the can and you're good to go. It rewinds the film and that's it. It's just a really unique way of shooting, and it's a conversation starter at the very least. And I think my camera is actually a little bit messed up because there's like weird spacing between the photos. I did only pay $6 for for it, so I guess I can't be too upset about that. But either way, this shoot was for fun, just kind of walking around, looking at some cosplay, looking at some of the weirder things here, and of course, just to spend some quality time creating together. So uh, let's go make something. Whenever I go to a convention of any sort, I always make sure I have a camera on me because I am into people's cosplay. And the first person who really caught my eye was of course Bob Ross Deadpool. I mean, do I need to explain any further? Now normally my attitude is I'll always ask a person. I'm not gonna just run up and snap a picture and run away. I'll try and have a conversation, compliment them on their work, and sometimes if they're into it, I'll even ask them to do a specific pose that I think might be cool. In my opinion, you're gonna get better cosplay photography if the person is aware that you're doing it. They can work with you. And the other benefit is you might make a couple of new friends. For example, lovely X Riot right here. She does Twitch streaming and she does cosplay. Here's her card, check her out. Now, this camera is interesting. Right out of the gate, you'll notice that the flash is a really bright blast right up front. And because of the space, because there's no other walls, there's nothing for it to really bounce onto. So the subject gets illuminated, but the background ends up being really dark. I kind of anticipated this would be the case in the environment there, and I just went with it. There weren't a whole lot of places for me to get somebody by a backdrop or a wall or something like that, so it kind of is what it is. I stopped this guy who was dressed up like Ash, I wanted to get a picture, you guys know I'm a big fan of Pokemon. Jumping off from what I was saying about the backgrounds though, this picture would have been so much better if I had him go up against the stone wall that was over there, but I wasn't really thinking, he was running away, I just kind of stopped him quickly. But hey, there was another Ash right down the aisle, so I had another chance to do a little bit better, and I gotta tell you, um, this is a tragedy, this is... This picture is so bad. The second one I took is a little bit better. I really enjoyed talking to this guy, and ironically, his name was Ash. So, very appropriate cosplay. Cool dude. Nice meeting you, Ash. Uh, hope you find this video. Now I met these cool dudes from Game Changer Mods, they actually sold me something that's going to be featured in an upcoming video. I'm only going to show you a glimpse of it because I don't want to give it away just yet. I did take their portrait, but I forgot to roll behind the scenes stuff for it, so. I'm not going to lie, I think I kind of caught them off guard by asking for their portrait. Anyway, right after that I think I met one of the most photogenic people in the entire convention. This dude dressed up like Proto Man, what a champion, I love the cosplay, and he was totally down to do the buster pose, it was, it was badass, it was just one of those scenarios where he was just totally in into it, cool personality, love these shots. And right after Proto Man, I snapped this cool picture of Noptop holding this small mic, and I, I like this one just because it made me think of the video he did using the really tiny microphone. I thought it was a, it was a nice little bit of lore and callback. The flash was really way too close to his face though, and it's kind of ratchet. So as I was waiting to photograph this next person over here, I decided, hey, thumbnail time, we'll make a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, I can guarantee that's gonna be a terrible thumbnail. Yeah. I'll make the thumbnails. I'm gonna hold you to that, Keith, just uh, so you know. Now forgive me if I'm an uncultured swine here, I didn't really recognize the cosplay, but I was really into the makeup, and the posing was pretty damn cool. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like with the high key flash here, losing that background worked pretty well with this cosplay. Did you make a new friend? No. 
Shortly after we came to this booth that had a backdrop set up and it was, it hit home. It was very, <laughs> it was very familiar. I wonder why. Anyway, Noptop and I had to take a picture here. This of course was not with the beer can camera, but beautiful, beautiful shot. I think the booth itself was called Glitch Corp, but I'm um, honestly, I don't even remember, but I did make a new friend there, Jess, and I took her portrait and she gave me her business card, which damn, this is like the coolest business card ever. Graphic designers, man, you guys know what you're doing. This is sick. So definitely check out her work. Her Instagram grid is pretty killer. Remember in the last crapshoot video I uploaded, I said that in every crapshoot there's always that one photo that makes me want to end it all. Here it is. Oof. Good job, Lou. Very proud of you. Now because of the issue I mentioned earlier with the camera spacing the negatives oddly, I was coming close to the end of my role. We bumped into this guy who had a really elaborate Ghostbusters outfit on, fully equipped with music and lights and smoke coming out. <laughs> it was sick. So I fired off two quick shots of him. I was really trying to emphasize the lights and stuff like that. It didn't really come out exactly how I planned it. The other thing I noticed when I was scanning these negatives is I think, believe it or not, the viewfinder isn't super accurate. There's a lot more headroom than I thought I was framing up on these photos. And I think the lens is just in a slightly different position. So the viewfinder is not the most accurate. I know, shocker. Anyway, shortly after these two photos, Noptop had an idea. So I passed the camera off to him. And now we enter into Noptop land. That was a good, that was a good take. Let's... <laughs> This is a really interesting experience for me right now because crapshoot normally I talk about my process taking the pictures. But as we get to this point in the video, I notice a distinct issue. I'm actually not Noptop, so I'll have to just give you my observations. Now Noptop historically has done a lot of stuff in the video scene. I haven't seen so much of his film photography stuff, so I was really curious to see how he was going to approach it. It seemed like Noptop wasn't as into the idea of going up to strangers like I was and just asking them for their photos. Rather, it seemed like he was more into capturing some of the retro stuff around here, like the arcade cabinets. Now the first photo, we actually forgot to turn the flash back on, so didn't come out. But fortunately, Noptop remembered, so we turned the flash back on and went back and did it again. Now following the arcade cabinets, we started walking a little bit, and Noptop wanted to grab a shot of these anime face pillows up here. But this was also right when we realized the flash was turned off, so it wasn't bright enough in there. The picture just didn't come out. Bummer. We did realize after that, so that's a good thing. And unfortunately, I do have one more that didn't turn out. Noptop wanted to take a picture of this band, but he didn't want to use the flash because he thought it would be distracting to them, so he just took a shot like that using the chair. So because of the fixed shutter speed on this camera, the photo was just way too dark he couldn't see anything. It was basically just a blank frame. The band was pretty good though. But anyway, after that we had our flash business taken care of. So the next stop, Noptop noticed this weird Dobby statue figure thing. It was like almost life size. It was really weird looking. I'm not a huge fan of his strange piercing eyes, but this is a cool photo. It definitely has a creepy atmosphere to it. The flash making the background turn so dark I think really brings out just how weird and ugly looking the statue was. Shortly after that, Noptop found this little bin full of all sorts of old cables and controllers. There's some Dreamcast in there. I don't even know what that controller is, but it's cool looking. I really like the perspective he got looking down on it. The other thing I like is that it feels like there's more of a range. It's not just a subject on a black background. So this is a cool shot. That's got a long trigger. You gotta really push that down. <laughs> You notice that? It's weird, yeah. Right after Noptop took that photo, I noticed that we were right next to the booth I saw earlier. And this booth had a giant Budweiser statue? I don't really, sculpture? I don't really know what to call it. It's something you would see behind a bar or something like that. It's an advertising piece. Noptop really liked it and wanted to take a picture of it. I need a subject. Yeah? Because it, you can't tell how big it really is. Do you want me to get behind it? Can you get on that side of it? Yeah, yeah. 
I think this photo really shows just the range of the flesh. It really doesn't reach all that far. I kind of wish that there was a little bit more light on me, but let's get real here. I'm not the star of the show. The, the king of beers is. Also, Miller High Life is way better than Budweiser. Fight me. Back over in the arcade section, there was an air hockey table with a couple people playing it. Nop Top shot through the curtains, and I thought it might have been a cool diffuser to make the flash less harsh, but actually it just bounced everything back and made it really dark behind there. On the bright side, though, my buddy was playing on that air hockey table. And he was kicking ass, dude. <laughs> One of Noptop's friends, Game Dave, was there, and we actually bumped into him and took a quick portrait of him along with this other dude, Russ Lyman, who is a video game YouTuber. Check him out. He had this really sweet, real life Mario Kart, and I was pretty into it. So, after talking to those dudes for a little bit, Noptop kind of blew my mind and said, I want to shoot outside. And I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't go outside often. No, I'm nervous. Now you got this. But I'm really glad we went out because there was this really cool staircase right next to the venue. And I gotta say, completely unbiased here, this is a banger. I love this shot. After shooting the stairs, Noptop got low and uh, did a really interesting low angle perspective of the area. I really love where the sun is in this photo. You got a nice little flare and the way the shadows stretch out across the patio. It really looks great. A lot of people say golden hour is the time to shoot and it's a little bit more difficult to deal with the shadows during the periods of the day where the sun is directly overhead like this. But in this instance, I think it works really well. He also took this picture of his shadow. I'm not exactly sure when he did that. He managed to sneak that one off without me noticing. But the, but the photo is here and I like it a lot. We ended up just spending some time out there talking, shooting the shit, talking about YouTube and creating and all that fun stuff. And then Noptop decided to take a picture of me and my friends. He used the flash outside just to try and break up some of the harsh shadows from the sun at that point. And I think it came out pretty well, although the contrast is a little weak, but I think that's kind of more of a camera issue than a Noptop issue. And last but not least, our curiosity got the better of us, so we had to go up those stairs and see what was at the top. It wasn't that exciting, but Noptop and I decided to take a selfie. Beautiful, the, the wind just really makes me look like a complete maniac with my hair like that. But either way, I love this picture because it commemorates a really awesome time. So, that's pretty cool. Are these the best photos I've ever taken? No, let's be serious. No, definitely not. I can't really speak for Noptop. You can let me know in the comments below, dude. But ultimately, this experience meant a lot to me. Lately, I've found myself getting really stressed out keeping up with all these videos and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I love making them, and I'm not gonna stop making them. That's not what this is at all. But experiences like these remind me of why I do it. They remind me of how much fun it is to just be with your friends and make stuff. And I really encourage you guys to, if you ever feel like you're in a rut, if you ever feel like you're working too hard or something like that, just go out and do it for fun. Remind yourself of why you do it in the first place. I didn't have a plan for this video. I just knew Noptop was going to be here, so I took two of my friends and I went over to this convention. We didn't have a plan, we just went for it. And that's how crapshoot usually is. I usually don't plan anything, and honestly, these videos are always a blast to make. But anyway, which one is your favorite photo? I gotta give it to Noptop. This is my favorite photo from the two rolls of film. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching these videos. It really does mean a ton to me. And if you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, do something to the bell. I haven't reminded you guys of the bell's existence in, in quite a long time. I'm on MySpace, Instagram, Discord. You, you know where to find me. Twitter, not Facebook. And uh, hey, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, and don't forget you can buy a t-shirt or a mug for the 4K Club in the description below. We just hit 3300, thanks by the way. So the 4K Club is closing in 700 subscribers. So go support the channel and look awesome while you do so. It's spooky month. I almost forgot to use my favorite outro screen. Hope you enjoy. Happy Spooktober. <laughs>